Hey there, you wonderful people of YouTube. Uh, getting ready to record the podcast for a Spiritual Almanac uh, for Monday, January 11th. Uh, today we're talking about Julian of Norwich. Uh, she was a medieval mystic. And you know, the mystics have always fascinated me. You know, especially these medieval mystics. They have such a depth of writing. And, I, you know, I think part of it is that you kind of get a glimpse into their spiritual experience, right? I mean, it's one thing to learn about the history of spirituality or, you know, the history of religion. And we do talk about that on this podcast. But um, I think that there's just something really intriguing about understanding how someone else experienced God. Because for me, that helps inform my own experience of God. Well, anyway... I hope uh, you liked today's uh, reading, and I hope that it sheds some light on your experience of God, too. Let me get set up, and uh, we'll get things started. Welcome to a Spiritual Almanac. Today is Monday, January 11th, 2021. Our inspiration for this frosty Monday in January comes to us from the medieval mystic Julian of Norwich. Not much is known about Julian's early life, including the name she was given at birth, but we're fairly certain she was a lay person. And we know that when she was 30 years old, she became seriously ill and had a series of visions about Christ's passion. She recovered and lived the rest of her life as a recluse in a small cell attached to St. Julian's Church in Norwich, England. From her cell, she wrote several manuscripts which were eventually published under the title Revelations of Divine Love. One of Julian's unique contributions to the world of spirituality was her extended description of God as mother. She wrote, When a child is hurt or frightened, it runs to its mother for help as fast as it can. And God wants us to do the same, like a humble child saying, My kind mother, my gracious mother, my dearest mother, take pity on me. Here's an excerpt from Revelations of Divine Love that gives us a closer look into Julian's mystical experience. And in this God showed me a little thing, the quantity of a hazelnut lying in the palm of my hand as it seemed. And it was as round as any ball. I looked upon it with the eye of my understanding and thought, what might this be? And it was answered, it is all that is made. I marveled how it might last, for I thought it might suddenly have fallen to nothing for littleness. And I was answered in my understanding, it lasts and ever shall, for God loves it. And so have all things their beginning by the love of God. In this little thing, I saw three truths. The first is that God made it, the second that God loves it, and the third that God keeps it. Here are some more spiritual tidbits for today. It's the birthday of the father of American psychology, William James, in 1842. The son of a theologian, James trained at Harvard as a physician but never practiced medicine. Instead, he devoted his life to the study of psychology. He also did important work in the philosophy of religion, much of which can be found in his book, The Varieties of Religious Experience. He believed religious experience and not religious institutions should be the focus of any study of religion. For James, the highest religious experiences are found in mystical states, and it's from our understanding of these mystical states that we begin the process of self-discovery. On this day in 1775, Francis Salvador became the first Jewish person elected to office in America. He was an immigrant from the Sephardic Jewish community in London who purchased land in South Carolina and intended to send for his wife Sarah and their four children once he was settled. After he was elected to South Carolina's Provincial Congress, he became entangled in the fight against the British and was killed by Cherokees who were working with the British before he could bring his family to the colonies. Also on this day, in 1569, 
England held its first public lottery outside of old St. Paul's Cathedral in London. It was a scheme to raise funds to repair England's harbors and coastal defenses, and it was largely considered a flop, with just 10% of the 400,000 tickets purchased. Even so, it took four months to sort out the results because everyone who bought a ticket was guaranteed a prize, ranging from tapestries and silverware to a jackpot of 5,000 pounds. In the end, the organizers decided it was more trouble than it was worth, so they scrapped the idea of making it an annual event. And that's today's Spiritual Almanac. If you're interested in reading more of Julian of Norwich's writing, take a look at Oxford World's Classics, Revelations of Divine Love. There's a link in the description. A Spiritual Almanac is a production of Granola Soul. You can find a text version of today's episode, the featured reading from Julian Norwich, and other spiritual resources at our website, granolasoul.com. Thanks for listening. Be kind, take good care, and we'll see you soon.